what a play. Well, that deserved a big O baby. And now we're joined by Mike Richter and Glenn <laughs> Healy. Did you really think of the All-Star game? Right Not before? at all. JD did. I mean, that's his job. I just kind of talk to heels, stop a puck when we can. And, and he, honestly, you have to play a guy that good, honestly. Because the guy can shoot, he can deke, he can deke forehand or back. That was a big moment, man. It's a big save moment. The, save of the series for you us. Think so, Glenn? That, that turned the worm for us. And uh, that goes in, it's a much different animal. Any Mike Keenan stories at dinner last night? Not at all. Do you have any heels? No, it was, uh, it's kind of Pretty, like... It, it was a quiet year. Kind of a fantasy story, a fiction book. Yeah. Not a non-fiction <laughs> book. Like when the Pope came to my house and Mike went to talk to me, okay, the Pope never came to my house. Okay? <laughs> I would have remembered that. But, um, hey, we're telling stories 25 years later and don't uh, let... The what was your relationship away. like, the two of you? Uh, we didn't talk. No. We still don't. <laughs> We want to keep it that way out. Yeah. Is this over? <laughs> Not yet. Uh, no, I mean, I, I'll start. I mean, I mean uh, this guy just came off a uh, career year. He's a phenomenal athlete and came into New York, and, you know, it was an odd time. We had just missed the playoffs. He had just gone to the conference finals, and we had this new crazy man, Mike Keenan, who's going to hook us every time. And uh, we forged a relationship uh, immediately. Um, he has an unbelievable work ethic and a great goalie and a great guy, and we sat next to each other in the locker room, and... I, I think it was the funniest, most enjoyable year of my life. I, I would say something on my breath, Hales would pick it up, throw it out there, guys would be rolling. I was like, wait a minute, that was my joke. But he has a better delivery, so I let it go, you know? All we did was blame the defenseman for every goal. So but we let's be clear about Boop's yeah. backside. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah how many times right. do you get screened? Well, I. Yeah, see oh, yeah that's a lot. I'll, I'll, I'll beep, tell you. beep, as he backed up towards <laughs> me. But the reality was, I mean, he the greatest Ranger goaltender that's ever played. So backing him up was pretty. I remember the very first day of practice, I said to my wife, we could win the Stanley Cup. And I went to the Final Four with the Islanders. But looking at that Ranger team, like we weren't even close with the Islanders. But with the Rangers, we were close. And we didn't have a goalie coach. So it was him and me, and that was it. So we'd rely on each other as psychologists, uh, strategy, structure, what shooters did, what they didn't do. Uh, it was Let's be clear, it was me going, Heels, what about this guy? He just goes down this, this guy stinks, selfish, doesn't pass, no good, won't play, not, a, not an NHL. I'm like, Heels, we're playing the defending Stanley Cup champions. Some of these guys can score, you know. He's like, ah, you're fine. Okay, here we go. And, and thus I went into TV with that same attitude. <laughs> <laughs> Shockingly enough, I don't work there anymore. How about that? I'm not sure what we're going to look at here, but apparently during the photo shoot, something happened that was uh, rather interesting. He hooked you both again. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that was, uh, well, that's Mike. Yeah, yeah <laughs> It's still happening, Embracing right? history. Hey, uh, one of the cool things in this game tonight between the Rangers and the Hurricanes is Henrik's mask. Have you uh, seen it? Crazy. I, I, I didn't see it um, until yesterday. And, I mean, it's absolutely humbling. I, I, I was shocked. A friend of mine sent it, had no Twitter feed, and uh, I, I got to tell you, it was, um, what, what a, what a, classy statement from him. What a cool thing and totally unexpected and, and really much appreciated. It's, uh, it's humbling. And, and if you take it off and you look at the foam on the inside, I'm on the inside. <laughs> I'm, I'm just happy that number 30 will go to the rafters. It just had the ramp, wrong damn name on it. <laughs> you were telling me some stuff because you work with NHL alumni now. Just give me a couple of bullet points about how fragile these careers are for these guys. Yeah, you know, the average age of any of these guys playing today is 23 and a half. So at 24, they're close to becoming what Ricky and I are, which are alumni. The key for us is to honor the past. Let's take care of all our guys. It's like the Marines. Once a Marine, always a Marine. And, and we have challenges. Everyone retires, everyone transitions. Not everyone well. So my, my goal, honor the past for the guys that built the game. The guys that 25 years ago lifted a Stanley Cup in this building and brought joy to every fan. Looking back on all the videos that I was watching this week, there were some precarious moments in that journey. Unreal. What was the most precarious, do you think? I think, look, you're, the second best team in the league that year was New Jersey Devils, and they pushed us to the max. So, I mean, you, no one's going to give up that opportunity willingly. So it was just going to be a heavyweight battle, right, the whole time. We're gonna how get how a, did you recover when Zelopukin scores that goal seven seconds ago? Come on. Honestly, I, if you recall, it was um, my recollection was uh, Kevin Lowe once again. You know, a veteran that you bring in for that. We walk in, broken sticks, dead silence. There's no mess speech. There's no anything. You, there's not much to say. Of course, Kevin Lowe says, hey, man. We're going to be fine. If it wasn't so hard, it wouldn't be so much fun when we do it. I think that's the only thing I remember anybody saying. We knew what we had to do. They're a great team. They, they're going to take a strip out of us if they can, and we have to respond, and we did. Crazy. Great. Awesome. Always great to see you. Yeah, Glenn, you, you too. All the best. Good yep. luck with Good the stuff. alumni, man. Thank you. Yep.